Alright guys, so on this channel, we've covered many different AI coding tools as well as different new LLM releases. And it's been really heating up since 2025 and especially these last few weeks, it seems like every other week, every other day, there's new LLMs, there's new tools, and it's really just getting crazy and things are starting to accelerate. So as many of you guys probably already know, Claude Sonnet 3.7 just got released today. And for a while, Claude Sonnet 3.5, even though there's been Grok 3, there's been Deep Seek R1, there's been O3 Mini O1, us developers were mainly still using Claude Sonnet 3.5 for many different development tasks just because it is so good. And they put out Claude Sonnet 3.5 a long time ago, but now with Claude Sonnet 3.7, I can definitely say the difference is very noticeable. All right, guys, so all links I cover in today's video will be linked down below. Here I'm on the announcement page of what Anthropic put out for Claude Sonnet 3.7 and Claude Code. So not only this, Claude Sonnet 3.7 is their most intelligent model to date and the first hybrid reasoning model on the market. So you can use it in just normal mode or in reasoning mode. Now, Sonnet can produce near instant responses or extended step-by-step -step thinking that is made visible to the user. So this is awesome because, you know, even in open AIs, uh, it look, looks a little bit different from what the actual thought process is and they're actually hiding it. But here, um, from what I can see, it looks like they're at least showing a lot more with the actual thinking process. So this is nice to see as well. Something like the deep seek R1 effect, something like deep seek R1. I don't know if it's exactly or if it's abstracted a bit. And the cool thing is API users also have fine grained control of how long the model can think for. Now, if you're a front end developer, this is definitely the LLM you want to be using. And like I mentioned, they released Claude Code here, which is essentially like a AI coding terminal tool, something similar to Ader. And what's even crazier is that Claude Sonnet 3.7 is available on all Claude plans, including the free plan, the pro and the team and enterprise. Now you're of course going to get more rate limits on the free plan and whatnot, but it's still awesome that anyone could access this. One downside is that it does have the same API price as its predecessor 3.5, which is $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens, which includes thinking tokens. So, so it is pretty expensive comparative to other models, but of course, you know, you get what you pay for. This is the best coding model in the world right now. And the benchmarks on this thing are very, very impressive to say the least. We can see Claude Sonnen 3.5 here on Software Engineering SWE Bench Verified. We can see that all the other models before it, like 3.5, 01, 03 High, uh, Deep Seek R1 are all very similar around that 49%. And then boom, Sonnet 3.7 comes in here, getting a whopping 62.3%. And then this little filled in thing, I don't know what this custom variable that they added here is, but pretty impressive. And then also, this is a very important benchmark as well, the Agentic Tool Use, TAU Bench. You can see here that Claude Sonnet 3.7 is taking the lead on this as well. And then here we have more benchmarks, so 3.7 Sonnet Extended Thinking, and then 3. Point sonnet No Thinking right here. You can see Graduate Level Reasoning, um, you know, pretty high. At Grok is doing really nice here with their 80 and 84%. So it's actually the highest, and then Claude Sonnet 3.7 looks to be in third. O3 Mini High is actually above as well. And I'm not going to go through all the benchmarks here, but we can see... You know, it's doing, if you go through, pause it, you'll see that it has some very impressive benchmarks. Agentic tool use. The Claude's always been really good at following instructions. This is pretty cool too as well. We can see that their, you know, roadmap here, Claude Assist. So Claude helps individuals do their current work better, making each person their best version of themselves in 2024. Claude collaborates, so Claude does hours of independent work for you on par with experts, defending what every person on or team is capable of. And that's in 2024 and 2025. And then Claude Pioneer, so Claude finds breakthrough solutions to challenging problems that would have taken teams years to achieve in 2027. So, you know, if their roadmap is accurate, that's only two years away. And, and I definitely don't doubt that this is where we could be in that time. So this is another interesting benchmark right here. This is Claude's models playing Pokemon. So you can see milestone progression over time and you can see that Claude Sonnet 3.7 is doing the best over models like Claude Sonnet 3.5 and Claude Sonnet 3.5 new which people are calling Claude Sonnet 3.6. Okay so it's very simple to go ahead and start using Claude Sonnet 3.7 you just go to Claude.ai and make sure that you're selected uh, for Claude Sonnet 3.7. You'll have the option down here to either change to normal okay 
or extended, which is their thinking model right here. All right, so here I'm saying, please code me out a beautiful React landing page for my AI automation business. We're gonna click on send and we can see that it has started coding right here very quick. Okay, it's been going for a long time. Like it's writing a lot of code right here, like very in depth. Holy moly. Okay, so this is the website we can see right here. So automate AI, transform your business with AI automation, watch demo, start free trial. Okay, we got our features right here, industry solutions. Okay, all the different industries, what clients are saying, transparent pricing right here. Okay, we got our footer and everything. All in all, it coded out this landing page in first prompt, one shot, and it did a pretty good job. I'm gonna try the same prompt with Claude Sonnet 3.5. And this is the 3.6, the one that was launched in October 2024. I have a feeling it's not going to be as long. Yeah, so it was a lot quicker. Definitely nowhere near as long or as in-depth. As you can see, this is what we got here. So ready to automate your success. Little footer down here, some stats. Why well, choose our AI solutions and doesn't even have a, a nav bar or anything. That is compared to this. We can see we got our logo up here. This one doesn't have any logo or anything. Much better. Um... Transform your business with AI automation. It's funny that it got the exact same thing. Streamline your operations, boost your productivity, and unlock. So it's using the exact same copy, which is kind of funny. But, uh, and it's similar colors, but it's definitely a big upgrade. So using Claude Sonnet 3.7 within here, you're going to definitely notice a big difference if you're used to using Claude Sonnet 3.5 with coding. All right. So now I'm going to say create an in depth CRM application with React. It should have contacts page a built-in task manager calendar and project management system make it very beautiful and now we are using the extended thinking model and we're going to send this okay so we can see the thinking process right here if we click here and see the user is asking me to create an in-depth crm application here's what it needs to have boom 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 and then there are they specifically want it to be beautiful this is what i'm going to do here's the plan so it thought very quickly okay so it is going and it's generating a lot of code that's one thing i'll say about 3.7 is it seems like it can generate end-to-end -end front end apps very very easy or at least the first iteration and it will generate a lot more code than sonnet 3.5 did on the initial run okay this is a very long like this is even longer than the first one it's probably because it has a lot of features but curious to see how this one's gonna look Okay, it's still going like this is a very long generation. I've never actually seen a generation this long. Okay, you can see here last edited three minutes. It's been over three minutes since so it's just been spinning this up. Okay, this has honestly almost been five minutes now. It's getting pretty crazy that it's generating this long. I, I can't believe this, but hopefully it works within the artifact. Okay, so I just got Claude Artifact failed to load. I can see here Claude has hit the max length for a message and has paused its response. You can write continue to keep the chat going. I'm just going to say just finish the app quick so it loads an artifact. All right, so we can see that it thought here and now it's making edits. Okay, so it said it did the task content. Now it's doing these settings right here to finish up apparently. Okay, so it should be done. Artifact failed to load. I'm going to say try fixing with Claude. Okay, so I actually had to tell it to just finish it up, make it shorter and less in depth, but still in depth because it was just generating so much code. It was actually, you know, breaking the artifact because it would hit its actual limit here. As you can see, we got a beautiful looking dashboard right here. Contacts, you now add contact tasks right here, new tasks, calendar. Okay, so we can see projects. So really nice stuff with one shot prompt. You can even toggle on dark mode and light mode on, even though it's not perfect. But um, this is really cool, I think, um, for one prompt. And a lot of people are building some really cool stuff. Like here is a Twitter thread I'll link down below. You can see here with this test, it created a Minecraft clone in one prompt and made it insanely playable in artifacts. So this is pretty insane if you can see right here. And then here, this guy got a one prompt Sims game right here in artifacts. Single thing it did here in just a second, but you can see it did in fact generate 26 Files, it technically created 23 and modified uh, three ones. This is literally just from a Next.js, you know, create CLI type deal. So I didn't write any of this code beforehand. And one thing I want to do, let me just save this. I wanted to show you guys all these new files. So let me just save this to this branch really quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap back to 3.5 just because I want to show you what the same prompt with Claude 3.5 Sonnet did. Um, this is all it did. So it got some of the footer stuff. Um, SAS name, it kept like the basic Next.js page here, 
Uh, but you can see it doesn't have any of these pages. I don't even think it has the auth pages. Like it literally just did, I wanna say it did like five files. I already committed this, uh, but it literally was just like five files. And so if we jump back to the three in one shot from literally the prime, it literally- Yeah, so it looks like everyone is kind of talking about this huge one shot, you know, capability it has where it can generate like really good stuff with just one shot so so one thing i'll be doing a lot more videos around claude sonnet 3.7 as well as how to use claude code as well as using claude sonnet 3.7 and cursor if you haven't been using it in cursor yet i would definitely recommend because honestly it makes it just feel like magic like i was just working in a project earlier today and i was making some basic changes and requesting different features or whatever and it just understood things so much better than Claude Sonnet 3.5. Like it was, it's noticeable. Like it's very noticeable. So more and more different tools are incorporating 3.7. You can see Perplexity here did so. So all in all guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to give you guys an overview of Claude Sonnet 3.7, talk about some of the benchmarks as well, show you a couple examples. And like I mentioned, I'm gonna be doing more videos on this channel about 3.7, using it in cursor, building actual projects out, showing you some applicable examples on how to use it in real world scenarios. So if you wanna stay up to date on all that, as well as the latest AI coding, AI agents, marketing, sales, business growth, all that good stuff, make sure to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with the videos. And then also too, if you got some value here, make sure to drop a like and comment down below what your thoughts are about 3.7 how do you think it compares to any of these other models how do you think OpenAI is going to retaliate with gpt 4.5 and what have you been using claude sonnet 3.7 to build i'm very curious let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below if you've noticed any strengths it has any weaknesses it has one thing i'll say is that when it comes to generating many different you know lines of code or, or many different files it is absolutely unmatched i've never seen a model generate that many lines of code but other than that guys if you haven't already joined our free Facebook group and discord channel stridecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below for that and then also too guys definitely check out our stride ai academy for behind the scenes resources tools trainings and more and then also too guys if you run a business and you need help implementing ai agents or ai custom grow solutions into your business Book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply and we can see if it's a fit or not. Also too guys, if you're an entrepreneur, founder, dev, whatever the case may be, and you want to actually sell these same solutions to other business owners, and you want our exact protocol on how to do this and charge two to 10K plus, book a call down below as well. Other than that guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course guys, accelerate your stride, take care. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24-7, never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents.